nothing against the sisters, but to the sisterhood, the toxic sisterhood, yeah, everything to that, but nothing against black women one like that, but this is what we mean as black men that you guys have been dating out, and it has been respected. The only thing he did was pass a few laws to ensure that the power couldn't go back to black people. But did black women get out? Yeah. That's why you get some of these white people today who have a percentage of it. Now, does this mean that those people can include themselves in black conversations? Fuck no. Fuck no, because at the end of the day, your heritage and how you came to be was people were moving away from black. Not desiring to be black. They they answered it for you. They didn't want to be black. And they didn't want their descendants to be black. Or a minority. Again, you, they're free to do that. But it's just like, I never understand why they want to be like, okay, since I'm a percentage. No, your parents said we don't want our children to look a certain way. The thing about it is, is you go to different cultures that are catered to white people and they have words for lightening up. Again, we got a, uh, what's the chick who made the new Scooby-Doo? I was about to switch over and pull it up, but I got to remember since it's Facebook and stuff like that, the second you pull off, the second they change it up. But this is 1870s. So this is why we don't chase this when it happens. It's been long understood that the black women will do whatever they want to do and hold the fact that slavery happened over black men. This is also biblically why, biblically why, I bring up the patriarchy of David in one of the things below because, and I'm talking about Acts 2 verse 29. Why? Because our enemies don't want it to be a patriarch. Jesus flows through the patriarchy of David. That's why he called himself the son of David, even though David was not his direct father. He was talking about the promise made to David. Time had passed between David and Jesus. Yet when it came to rulership, different things happened. The women are not creating more black people. They're dissipating. What we give them to maintain genetically, they dissipate when they date out. Same thing eventually for the uh, black men who do it too. However, you get your lineage from your father. That's why women are meant to be submissive. And to be honest, this is black women submitting. Now, they can try to rub this in our face or they can turn around and say, oh, it's because X, Y, and Z, but there's no excuses. The horrible relationships I've seen, and it, it really seems like it's what black women are willing to take. Because they get that extra stamina that some of these white chicks don't have when they get beat up or things happen to them simply because at the end of the day, they feel that the community has nothing to return to. This proves that the Bible is correct that women can't build and women can't do certain things that men can do. But they try it anyway because they deem the black community lesser than. But the thing about this is, is this is not, it's not a one-off thing. There have been plenty of instances like this. Plenty. Plenty. And again, they, they always try to make it seem like, oh, this is about love. Uh, sure. It's about love. That's why when black men did it during this time, they got their dicks cut off or they were killed. You see, I say that, then it sounds like, oh, I'm jealous or I'm hatred. No, it's reality. This is why they keep altering history, and that's why they're the enemies of God. The people who alter history so that they don't look like the bad people are the ones who are trying to escape God's judgment. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, oh, well, the sins of the Father shouldn't count. Um, you benefit from it. One and two, that's why I invoke Isaiah 14, verse 21. Because just by that specific one, and you can go from 20 to 22 to clear up any confusion, but you are judged by the sins of your father because in a lot of cases, children get the boons of their parents. And every single man is trying to get a legacy. So when the father sinned, you know, that stuff where they're like, oh, I'm going to steal this, that, and the other so that my children, they're just passing on sins. Because let's say 
the daughter loves that lifestyle. She's going to be down with men who, who uh, sin like that, who steal like that, who rob like that. And what I'm talking about isn't color related. And let's talk about young men. Providing is not easy. It's something that if you fail at, or if you're not secure enough at, people will throw you to the side. So it's so much easier to steal than it is to build. So, yeah, you are judged by the sin of your father because it is inherited. Again, Isaiah 14, verse 21. Also, specifically Romans chapter 9, verse 5. Whose are the fathers and whom is concerning the flesh of Christ came? Again, he keeps talking about the fathers and things of that nature. But black women either make it so that the households are unstable or they, and I'm not saying all, but some, when they try to run it like a matriarchy or they make sure white men are put up. You know, that's why I really believe they fired Candace Owens because it was really too obvious. She's too obvious. She's not influencing people. She's just been paid for nothing. Yeah, that I truly believe that's why they fired her. And then Kanye went back and and kissed the same people's feet that he uh, said he wouldn't work with after becoming a conservative. Uh, that threw middle fingers up to those Jewish people. So, yeah. The point of all this is, is black women been dating out. And we owe no loyalties to them. Because if you look at this time period, this is right around uh, their feminist movement. The first feminist movement that happened. And again, love is supposed to be love, but the thing about it is, is when you consider Elizabeth T and a lot of stuff, they've been dating out. They've been dating out. They love dating out. They love using that as leverage. So, biblically, black men, you are not responsible for these types of relationships. And understand that they treat these men different because this is worship. This isn't about a relationship. This is actual worship. So, 